Well, ladies and gentlemen, it's Tim Dowd, we're living with MS in Tenerife. We're ready to go live, and it looks like we are live. I can't check it just now, but there's no error message. So welcome to the channel. If you're watching on Catch Up, this is a Q&A where you can write in and uh, on the live chat and ask me questions. I'll tell you a little bit about the weather, a little bit about everything else. And uh, if you still want to ask questions on the Catch Up, you can just drop me a comment or send me an email to me at timothydowd.com. So I'm in Little Germany again because they've got a table free until nine o'clock. And so I'm going to sit here and have a chat with you guys. There's music going on in the corner, but uh, we're not really worried about that. I, uh, I got done last week as well, but we don't care. We don't care. So I'll skip the ad and let's see what this is. There you go. I'm not in... Uh, I want autofocus. There you go. Es tut mir leid, wenn ich störe. Ich mache eine Live-Show mit YouTube. Wir haben vorhin mal aufgegeben, wir haben die Dame Geburtstag gehabt. Genau, genau, ich höre mich jetzt. Gar kein Problem. Wir sind live jetzt auf YouTube. Oh, so I've got my friend, the Franciscana monk here, in the dark one. The lady next door is drinking it as well, so I hope they've got enough. And Kirsten has kindly given me the table to, until nine o'clock. I'm not going to use it until nine o'clock, but there you go. So let's have a see what he's on. Jeff's on. Happy Friday, Tim. Evening, says Thomas. Roger, Roger Memory. Today is hot in town. It is fairly hot today and a bit humid because the... The, uh, the wet weather's supposed to be coming. I've got an update on that as well, live from, what's it called? Zoom.Earth. So Zoom.Earth, it's called the Tropical T Depression 10L. And at the moment, it is just north of Dakar and west of Nouakchott, however they say that. And it's an anti-cyclone, I think, because it's going anti-clockwise, or is it a cyclone, I can't remember. Um, it will be. It might become a tropical storm or a cyclone. Um, but if you go to zoom.earth, you might see. I don't know if you can see that. You might see the uh, the tropical depression coming. But the forecast said it's going to go west. So that means if it's turning anti-clockwise, we'll just get the tail end of the weather. Uh, it's been chucking it down since six o'clock this morning in Dakar. So uh, it has got rainy weather with it, but uh, they say it's only going to last for three days anyway. So it's either going to be Saturday, Sunday, Monday or Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. And if it does turn to the west at, when, they, when they're saying that, on the 26th, it should turn left, it says. What's well, today? 23rd. So it should turn left. Well, yeah, then it'll be the three days. It'll be the three days. There we go. There we go. So, uh, if you're coming in today, tomorrow, like my brother is coming in on Sunday, then uh, I've already told him, he says he lives up near Pendle Hill, they're used to it. So their idea of a summer jaunt is jaunting through the rain um, along the Pendle Hills. There you go. Uh, my sister's coming Wednesday and it'll all be gone by then. Daughter's coming Tuesday, so she might catch the tail end of it, but she's not too bothered, she's here for the week. And it's her birthday on Thursday, so as long as it's nice on Thursday, we don't care. Cool dude. So, John Patton's on, Mary Alty, Mark Hawley. Hi, Mark, nice to see you. Jude Gardinier, hello, Charlie's on. Dave Wallace is on, enjoy your beers. Might be walking home. Mm. The Indian said I could pick up a free Indian tonight if I wanted to because they didn't put any spice in the one last week. But I don't fancy Indian again tonight, to say the truth. I'm actually making one of Christina's favorites. I'm making a tagliatelle with salmon pate and bits of salmon in it. Mm -hmm. Great stuff. And I've, I've actually photographed me buying the ingredients. 
So I'm not sure. I'm not going to do a cooking show because so you know how to make uh, tagliatelle, right? Boil it for three minutes with salt water. And so I'm not doing that, but I'll show you how much it costs, what the ingredients were, and what it looks like at the end. So I'll do that as a sort of a, a weekly vlog now, starting. Well, I was going to start on the first of October, but I thought I'd better do a, get a few under my belt, so I've got a few to show, and then maybe show that on Friday if uh, if I'm sat in a bar somewhere. Uh, meet up Monday. We're going to restart, but it will be the second Monday in October. The first Monday in October we're not doing it because uh, Jackie's still here and the, uh, Stephanie's still here. So uh, we'll probably go out on the Monday, but. Uh, and I'll let you know where it is if you want to swing by, but it's not really a meetup Monday. But the Monday after will be a meetup Monday, uh, so check on the website to find out where that's going to be. Cool dude. Paula Williams, hi Tim and Christina, everyone on the chat. Paula Wade, hi. Willie Rushton, hope it doesn't rain when we're over. Well, if it does, it'll only be for a few hours or a day or two, so don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Good evening, Tim. Sorry, could not stay on this morning. Says Ian, had to go out. But we'll catch him, catch him. Okay, cool dude. Thanks um, to Sarah for the wonderful walk this morning. If you have not watched that, we went from the Los Agaves, showed the little fruit place and the cafe and the, and the butchers. And we walked around to Dan's shop, uh, down the front as well. So quite a, quite a nice views down there this morning. Paul Scarson, hi Paul. Next time you come over, you'll be sat right here, I'll be interviewing you. Mmm, phantasmagorical. Judy Ways says, evening all. Tina Rigby's on. Hi, Tina. I did see you this morning, but I, I didn't mention you, but thank you for popping in. Jimmy England. Evening, Tim. Where are you? Just came on. I am actually in Little Germany. I was going to go out and do the, ad, do the uh, interviews today, but um, eventually didn't happen. And uh, I was waiting for a guy to come and help me put the TV on the wall. And I bought this fantastic um, frame. And basically, you just put two screws in the wall, and then you put the four screws on the back of the TV and you know, sh push it out, push it down, or whatever. And then you just pick the TV up, and it clicks on this rail. You just click, and then down, and there's magnetized, um, what they call uh, magnetized uh, um, release catches. So you pull the release catch and it'll tip forward up to 15 degrees. So it's going to be perfect for Chris. I'll stick it on the wall right in front of a chair and just a bit further up. And when it tips down, it'll be pointing straight at her when she's lying in a comfortable chair. So we'll see that. And then when she goes to bed, I sit in my comfortable chair, stick my earphones on, connect via Bluetooth, and jobs are good. So let me just show you where we are. So that's the view. It's probably going to be overexposed, but I'll she'll take you down a stop or two. There you go. Uh, is that better? I'll put you back onto autofocus. There you go. That's nice. Cool dude. So back right, come back around, focus on me, go a bit more brighter, there you go, I think I'm in now, and back to manual, there you go, take my life in my hands, I'm pretty sure. You can get them down here somewhere. Oh no, it, uh, on catch up you'll see the t shirts pop up. But there you go. Oh yeah, better. I'm a bit lighter now, aren't I? Ali Bennett's on high. Day after day. So I managed to watch some of you walk. Cool, dude. It was really nice. I have to go come back over, top up the fridge. Exactly. S Subs on. Hey, sub. I haven't got any of your videos yet. Are you going to do some? Well, you don't have to, but if you fancy doing a couple, that'd be nice. We see where you are. A lot of people liked that one when you were in, uh, where were you? In the Maldives. That was good. 
Good evening, Tony Such, Paula Williams, Luke Foster. Hi, Tim. Me and my big family arrive on October 13th. What supermarket would you recommend? Well, it depends where you are, obviously. But if you're coming over to Kyle Savaki, the supermarkets here are very expensive. You know, of course, they're, they're geared up for tourists who don't have cars. But if you... Um, yeah, it depends where you're coming to, really. I go shopping in Tutrebol in Adehe. And I, that's where I get the petrol from as well. That's the cheapest I can find. So Tietrebol is a good supermarket. It's got everything. It's even got like a little hardware store and clothes and stuff. So if you need to pick up a pair of shorts or a t-shirt, they got that as well. And they basically got everything. But one of the best things they do have is they have a German aisle. So you get all the um, German brands of uh, food and stuff like that. But also British. So you got Coleman's mustard, and uh, Branston pickle, um, so it's like international aisle it is. But it's a lot of German products, so that's good if you want to do that. Especially the sauces. There's a sauce there, roulade mix, and then you go to the butchers in the supermarket, and they will slice you a, a piece of beef so thin it's unbelievable, and then you roll bacon, mustard, onions, and gherkins in it, pin it with a a stick, what do you call it? Cocktail stick. Stick a bit of wine and this mix in a pot and let it schmore for an hour and a half. Fantastic. Sell it with red cabbage and mashed potatoes. Fantastic. Fantasmagorical. So, Luke, that is two tribal. The other place I go to a lot is Mercadona, which is just opposite the road, just opposite. And uh, we also have Lidl and Aldi if you want to shopping Lidl and Aldi for those types of um, products. Yeah. Do for me. Oh, and we have uh, Hippodino up in Galleon, which is a lot cheaper than the Hippodino here, but they do have certain brands of wine that I like. Dirt cheap. For instance, the Los Molinos wine that, I, that we get is 2.30 in this shop here, but in El Galleon it's 165. So that's the difference in price of everything. So your whole shop is... Uh, 15 to 20 percent cheaper if you go out of town but as i say it depends where you're coming if you go into las americas or los cristianos then obviously uh, you're going to be paying those prices as well <coughs> ali bennett simon farrant's on carl's on in the background there you go and evie blue i missed you there jeff daniels willie rushton we did Okay, let's see if there's any questions. Charlie says, supermarket on the Golden Mile is brilliant, but the one not right on the Golden Mile. Go down the side of the one, and there's a cheaper supermarket behind it. Okay, so if you are in Las Americas or the Golden Mile, as Charlie says, plenty of supermarkets there. Might be worth a trip up to Park Santiago 6. There's a Mercadona there, which is quite good. Or if you're near San Ojino, there's a Mercadona in the basement of the shopping center there. Also a Mercadona in the basement of um, Exur. And of course Siam Mal, and that's a Hibadino. So there's plenty of them about. Just all you gotta remember is the closer you are to the beach, the more expensive it is. <laughs> Blue got a hey Tim question for you. What is the proudest moment of your life? Pride. It's a deadly sin, isn't it? <laughs> Proudest moment of my life. I don't think I can pick one, but uh, birth of my daughter, of course. Um, joining the Magic Circle in London. Uh, passing an American driving test. <laughs> Not. That was funny. I'll tell you about that in a minute. Proudest moment of my life, where I'm proud. Moving from England to Wales and being told in the job centre there's not enough jobs for our own people. And then I went out and went to the local industry, which was uh, CK Tools, and I made an appointment with a managing director, went in with a suit, and he said, what are you selling? I said, you're looking at him. And I was 17 years old, and I said, you need me. And he put me to work and he said, 
I've, I only get job creation kids and they turn up drunk or not at all. He said, so if you work hard, I'll make you, when you're 18, I'll give you a car and send you on the road selling, he says. So I got the job at 17 and that was, I was proud for doing that. Just going out and getting a job and never been unemployed since, uh, unless I wanted to be unemployed. And then only for two or three months at a time, just to change jobs. So I think I'm sort of proud of that. So I'm passing the, the American driving test. They wouldn't accept my German driving license in America when I lived there. They did a year later with the rest of the people coming over. But when we, we were the first people over in this wave and they didn't accept it, Richmond, Virginia. So I went to do the driving test. So I, drive, I drove there because I can drive on my German license. And I went in and there's a TV and 20 questions. You got a multiple choice questions. There's a telephone, sorry. There's a telephone. I said, what's the telephone for? He said, well, if you can't read, we'll, we'll read you the questions. I said, well, isn't like reading, like, you don't you have to read, be able to read to drive? Like, oh, what's that sign there? Say, stop. Oh, I don't know. Ah, uh, crash. Um, so I sort of laughed at that. But, you know, I suppose it, suppose it could be that, um, I said, well, thank God it's not for the blind. <laughs> so uh, anyway, I did, you do the questions and basically the questions are dead easy and or you just got to pick the one that sounds like it's written in a textbook form. You know, what do you do at a red light? Do you race through? Do you look to see if something's coming and go anyway? Or do you approach the intersection with a slow, you know, and there's one question that always sounds like it come out of a textbook. Just pick that one. Then there's five mathematical ones, you know, like breaking distances and stuff like that. And how far away can you, um, Apart from a from a corner and all that, and you just skip those because you only need 20 out of 25 to get through. So I got through without without answering any one of the mathematical ones. So if you're not into that, that's also that's also okay. I got to pull the camera a little bit towards me, otherwise it'll overheat. There you go. There you go. Yeah, so then I went to the to do, do the test, and I went out of the car park. Should take a right. Went about 100 yards. Take a right. Took the junction. Take a right at the junction. Take a right, and I'm back where I started. And just go over the road. So I went over the road. Take a left. Take a left. Take a left. And back. So I did a figure eight basically, and just park. I said, you want to reverse park or parallel? You know, they call it parallel parking. No, no, just park. She said, I thought oh, I failed. Anyway, she says you're fine. <laughs> You got it. So I passed the test, went and told Chris. She said, great. So she went, failed, because she went through a red light turning right. Now, in, in, you can actually turn right on red if you're uh, in Virginia, um, unless it tells you not to. But you do have to come to a complete stop and then turn right. And she rolled through, they call it a California stop. So they failed her for that. Wow, Harry Shaw, thank you so much. That will go to a very good cause, Harry. Thank you so much. Cheers. Oh yeah. So that was the uh, that was the story of the driving license. Hi, Wayne says Ali. Hey Tim, question the proud and the proudest moment. Mercadona seems to be fairly cheap out there. Yeah, again, it depends where you go, but they're usually pretty good. Although it has gone up in price, it has risen by, I would say, 20% over the past 12 months. Dennis McCarthy, hi Tim. Um, I hope you got sorted out with that flat, and I hope you didn't think that I was blowing you off by saying I don't want to waste your time, but. Um, Again, if those guys don't answer your questions when you ask them, you know, there's nothing you can do. And it's a waste of time going to see a flat if, I, it, you know, if they can't just give you a straight answer. They couldn't even tell you which one it was, could they? In fact, I'd be wary of that. If somebody if somebody's doesn't tell you which one it is, then they might actually be asking for a deposit for a flat that doesn't exist. So be careful on that one, Dennis. 
We're good, thanks, Paula. Paula says, Jeff, say an evening, Moira. Oh, Moira's come on. Hi, Moira. Steve Coe's on. Have I missed anybody? Got new electricity estimate today and blue A fuse. Oh, dear. I think I'll have to look at my electricity, actually. It's, it should be due today. Endesa. I got a new, the new app. The new Endesa app. Face ID. Got a smile. So I've used the same amount as every month, about 260, and the bill's about 70 euros. So July was 67, and August was 70, and so I'm using the same amount of electricity this month as well, 265 uh, kilowatt hours. Oh, where's the bill? And on the 70 euros 99, I use 294. So that should be about, about the same. So it's between 65 and 75 a month, which isn't bad. But I mean, we don't have it. We only cook with it and heat water with it, really. And the TV and the computers and stuff. So there you go. But it still hasn't, uh, the bill still hasn't, hasn't gone. Okay. So, what else we got? Uh, sounds dreadful, Helen. What's happened, Helen? I missed Helen Miller. Hey, you two, just back from a dreadful time in Cap Verde. 28 and a half delay way back. Three of them was horrendous. We met some great folk. Cap Verde have just had a storm. Did you? Were you in the middle of it? Or were you back a few days ago? Well, you get a free bus to Siam Mall, use a the supermarket there. You can do that. You can do that. Uh, create next month. Steph will send you pictures. Thank you, sub. Sounds dreadful, Helen. Call into the t-shirt shop if you go to Park Santiago 6. Absolute bargains there. There you go, Paul. Harry, thank you so much for the donation, as I said. Luke, has the cost of living hit Tenerife as hard as the UK? It's terrible right now. Yet to tell you the truth, I've not noticed the massive rises uh, in cost of services, but um, one of the guys in Los Cristianos has got a shop, um, said that his, his um, electricity bill doubled, but we've got, a, we've got the Tarif Libre, which, is a, which they, they, we contract for a year at the same price. So we're probably paying a bit over the odds, but not double. So I'm hoping that's going to be, stay the same. Ali Bennett. Marianne's on as well. Hi, Marianne. When are you coming over? Doing good. Checking amongst yourselves. Currently learning to drive, says Charlie. Cool dude. You can actually learn here as well. Uh, you probably need to learn here to, to, to drive here. Leone Dillan, good evening. Thank you so much for the donation, and I shall use it immediately. I will use the donation immediately for another beer. <laughs> when you got time. Yeah. Are you looking forward to having your family over next week? I am, actually. My brother's coming Sunday, so we got Sunday night with him and Monday night with him on his own, or him and his wife. Then I pick Stephanie up at the airport Tuesday lunchtime. So we can either decide to just chill on the Tuesday with the local family, I think that's what we'll do. Muchas gracias. And then Wednesday, my sister's coming in and she's gonna meet up with Mark, so I'm gonna let them catch up first. And then we all meet on Thursday for Stephanie's birthday. And then we've got uh, Friday night and Saturday night all together. So we're going to do something each night there. And then Sunday night, uh, Mark's going. So it's just me, uh, it's just us and my sister and the daughter. And then daughter goes home on Tuesday. So Tuesday night we'll have with our sister and her, her husband on their own. So it's going to be quite nice. It's about 10 days where we've got loads to do in. Christina said I've got to stop doing the lives during that time, but I won't. I'll just go live with my phone. 
and show the family off. <laughs> Unless they don't want to be on it, of course. Okay, I always remember doing my PCV test. He was explaining pictures on road signs of for dyslexic people. I think that's why the phone is provided mainly. Ah, dyslexic for phone, okay. Never thought of that. Then I shall take back my little laugh. Good job. You never finish learning, ever. You never finish learning. And it shows you should never judge. I judged and that was it. So, plus a brandy chaser. Oh, yes. Well, there must be something else from, from Dennis. I missed it if there is. I did have a brandy chaser because uh, some beautiful people bought me a bottle of brandy. And I also they don't bring anything. So they didn't because they bought it here. <laughs> Thank you so much and you know who you are. The man in the yellow shirt behind you was asking the lady who was serving them what you were doing. I heard. Hmm? Hi Tim, thought you were great on Kev's channel yesterday. Yeah, I met Kev and he gave me a bit of an interview and pushed the channel and I got another 120 subscribers because of him. Thank you so much Kev, if you're watching. Evening Tim, hope you're well. Dennis McCarthy, not at all Tim. We'll drop you a message, let you know what happened. It gets even better. Okay. I <laughs> uh, don't know if you know, you all know Dennis, but he's been on the channel before on a Monday meetup and um, it was looking for an apartment uh, that's wheelchair friendly. And there's some of the places that they were, he, they were sending him, it was terrible. You know, I, I went to one guy and I said, is it wheelchair friendly? It's all on the flat, he says. I said, so if you're parked outside and you've got a supermarket trolley and you want to take it into the flat, is that okay? And you not only take it into the flat, but take it into the bathroom and spin it round. So if you can do that with your flat, then it's wheelchair friendly. You say, well, no, because there's two steps down into the complex and then there's four steps up, but then it's all on the flat. I said, what about the pool? Oh, there's six steps down to the pool. I said, well, it's just not wheelchair friendly then, is it? And I don't even reckon that he could um, spin it round. I don't even reckon he could spin it round uh, his, what's he called, in, in his bathroom either. But there you go. Amazing. Thanks, Moira. Broke my wrist. Oh, dear. Terrible. Is the weather turning and flying Sunday? It's suggested rain till Tuesday. Yeah, it will. It'll probably rain till Tuesday, but it'll still be warm, so 25 to 28 degrees. So it's not like rain where you're going to go, oh, it's raining. You'll be running out in it. You know, you can actually go swimming in it. So uh, I wouldn't really worry too much about it. Um, high winds is the problem that, we've got, that we're going to get. And also, if it brings a lot of rain, then there could be flash floods as well. But usually the Barrancos are pretty good at, at doing runoff. But uh, Adeshi are out in force today and tomorrow, clearing out all the drains. So they're digging them out just in case they're, uh, they're needed. So we're preparing for the worst. And also a lot of the houses are not actually designed to be, uh, what's the word? Just get comfy not exactly designed to be waterproof. So I know that when it rains heavily on us, the access to the roof isn't waterproof, so it drips down into the hallway. So I've got to put a, a barrier at my door so the water doesn't run into the flat. But uh, at one point it was running down the stairs. But they don't build them flat either here, so the water will run off somewhere. But don't worry, only in a couple of days. And it'd be something to vlog about, eh? Just turn me away. There you go. Is that better? Mm. Now we have Marie's on the prompt. Oh, she can have some thumbs up. Yes, thank you very much. Dougie Montana, you're in for heavy rains this weekend. Yep, it's, uh, I was just saying, we, we got a live app. Du kan se, jeg synes, min egen ekskørning kan vi skippe med, Bissel. Danke. 
Und ich hoffe, dass ich euch nicht störe, gell? Gracias, danke. Na doch, kann man es immer noch sehen, oder? Ja, ja, fast. Ich sehe sowieso nichts. Eben. Ich sehe was. Du hast die beste Review, das ist die Kirsten. Ja. There we go. I can do. Uh. She was so. I just don't want to get the people in the background in the background there. No painkillers, oh dear. Right, so I'm going to break into this. Thank you so much for all your donations. Oh. And so what else do you need to know? What else do you need to know? It's now 18.24. In fact, I feel like I've been talking for a long time, but it's only half an hour. I like this, I like this now, this, this light going across my face, I quite like that. It's like a, what's it called, a music video. We've got music playing on both sides anyway. I'm hoping they'll cancel each other out so that no one can recognize theirs. So it'll be umcha umcha on one side. There you go. Is that better? Yeah, there you go. Let's make it a bit darker in the background. So they can't complain behind me. Okay, GT says, sent you and Chris something for a while. Your family's over. Thank you so much. I'll, uh, I shall definitely thank you for that. Wow. Graham, thank you so much. Thank you so much. It's uh, a glance in my heart that people like you think of us, and I really do appreciate that. Thank you so much. And Janie says, hi, Tim. New subscriber here. Coming to your village October 26th. Staying in Blue Sea Gardens. Hope it's a good hotel. Me and my bestie, Jan. It is a good hotel for the price, so you've got to remember what price you're paying. And the if you if you're eating in the hotel, I've heard it can be hit and miss. And I've heard that there's quite a lot of um, stairs as well. So if you if you're not mobile, that's a problem. But Christina's best mates stayed there, and they said for the price you couldn't beat it. It's um, it was basic. But you couldn't beat it um, for the price, and it was in the same village that they wanted to be in. So from the Blue Sea, you do have uh, a brand new shop in the foyer, owned by Dan the Man, the Crackmaster, and it's called Tenery First Excursion. So you can book all your excursions there. There is a bus stop right outside, so you can get on the bus and go any direction you like uh, for no more than two or three euros. So it's a great place to be. Uh, you've got the best restaurants here, including Little Germany. And any of you, if you decide to come, don't forget to tell, Ki Kel to tell Kirsten that you heard it from this channel. Because that's important for her to know where, where people are coming from. And I think there's a lot of people that have come in here and not said anything, but have, uh, but have, uh, have got the idea from the channel. Not only on the lives that I do, but on the playlist Chaos Avaki. So if you're interested in the village and you've not seen much of Kaya Sawaki, go to my channel, to the playlists, and there's one called Kaya Sawaki, and that is over the past eight years, all the changes that have been here, the beach being open, the beach being closed, and all that stuff. So um, go, go ahead and do that. And, uh, and of course, look me up. And if you fancy going for a pint in the afternoon, uh, we meet at the Monte Cristo, and it's a hidden bar. So you walk down the hill from the Blue Sea, past the Nebula restaurant, past all the Indian restaurants, and at the second Indian restaurant, Masala, take a left up the um, steps, and there's a bar there called Monte Cristo. In the afternoons, they have quizzes, they do Sticky 13, there's horse racing, and there's happy hour. So, uh, till nine o'clock. So, or just give me a call, and uh, when I've been shopping, I usually get in there, maybe about five o'clock at night, not every day but uh, when I'm on Tuesdays and Thursdays. 
I will go there about five o'clock. Have a couple of scoops before I go home. Don't tell Chris. Um, thanks so much for that. Yep, cheap. It, I mean, it is cheap, but uh, and it's 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 a great place to be. It's uh, just don't expect it to be five star. Mm. And we do have cockroaches at the moment, but don't worry, they don't bite, and they usually hide away. But cockroach does not mean dirt. Cockroach means it's where they live here. And if they look like butterflies, we'd be paying extra for them. There you go. Ian Miller, message retracted. Welcome to the community journey. There you go. Charlie, Dan has now three shops. Yes, uh, he's got the one on Los Cristianos up by the Swedish church. So if you're on, in Los Cristianos Harbour and you get to that uh, beach hut that's derelict, you know the one they've boarded up that's been, that's been empty for years. If you walk out of town, it's just up on the left, maybe 100 yards, next to a kebab shop. Uh, in fact, well, no, I, I won't tell you that. But, um, yeah, so Dan's got that. And he's got the Pueblo Canario, which is the one you all know and love, opposite the Ibrox Bar. And he's just opened one in the village in the Kayao, Kayao Garden Blue Sea Hotel, uh, which is a mini mart and a um, excursion shop. So uh, that's two strings to his bow. And he's a third owner of Ragnarok, the new Viking ship cruise. So if you're into sort of um, Viking ship cruises and ours and shiver me timbers, or that's pirates in it, I suppose. Or whatever Vikings do with axes and stuff, then uh, go ahead and do that. So, yeah, um, he's doing very well. That's why he's not vlogging because he's very busy. <laughs> Did Barbara start a Christmas shopping? Yes, says my. <laughs> Hi, Paul Webb. He's Webby on Webby. Boom. I bet I reckon Paul Webb or Webby is up in the Monte Cristo right now. I bet he's up in the Monte Cristo right now. What's that speaking in the background? I don't know. It's a, oh, it's the guy next door, um, the owner of the bar next door, this guy, and he's watching, uh, he's watching stuff on his iPad. So, yeah, but see, I'm the one talking, not him. He, he, he owns the place, he can talk. I'm probably disturbing him. Welcome to community, I came in that. Hello from sunny Lancashire, Tim. Love, Miles and Bev. Hello, Miles. Is, are you in Blackburn or are you called Blackburn? But if you are in Blackburn, nice, nice part of the country. And uh, welcome to the channel. Thanks, thanks for saying hello. Hit the thumbs up, says Ali. And Dougie Montana says, are you in contact with Knight Strider? I do text him uh, and he texts back. Uh, he doesn't contact me much, but I usually contact him when uh, I've got something to say. But we're not bosom buddies. And he's in, um, I think he's in Florida at the moment anyway. So uh, it's not, we were the three amigos, but I was, it was more me and, and Lee, and then him and Lee. So we never sort of like, um, we never sort of got together. Well, I think we did one vlog together where he was live vlogging at the same time as me. And he walked up and found us in the blue, the blue, deep blue, I think it was in Las Americas, Beach Las Americas, that's the only one I've done. But I did interview him before he started his channel, so go ahead and have a look at that. Go and have a look at the aft cast, A-F-T cast. It's like four cast, but aft behind. And have a look at the interview there. I have asked him if I wanted to do a follow-up interview, and he says he's very busy at the moment. And uh, if you saw his Stake 21 uh, vlog, we were in here for my birthday while he was filming that. And on the way home, we had a chat. But uh, in touch, yes. Buzz and buddies, not really. Paul Scarf, we had a couple of cockroaches in Park La Paz. Like you say, they come in for the warm tide once you go anywhere. Hotel was spotless. Yeah, I mean, it, it's the time of year. In fact, I think now, around about now, the females will fly and go somewhere else to lay their whatevers. But uh, you just got to remember that it's a sort of a subtropical paradise to be living. 
and you're going to have different uh, different things, you know, different things. So don't worry about them. And as I said, if a if a massive butterfly, beautiful butterfly, is landed on your arm, you go, oh look, a butterfly. Uh, but if a cockroach lands on your arm, you go, whack. Isn't that like unfair? Oh my God. The food's arrived. <laughs> liver, my favourite, my favourite. Mi favorito. The neighbours are having my liver, as they say. Charlie, we've seen lots of cockroaches. There we go. So a lot of lizards. They are brilliant. I've got two lizards living on the balcony in an old plant pot, and they've had babies, and the babies are on the ceiling at night. So they go up and they, they go up the ceiling, they go to the light, and then they come back. It's too hot. You've got to be careful in the night, though, because if you go to the loo, sometimes you might uh, stand on one, which is always a shame. See you, Tina. Thanks so very much for dropping in, and we'll see you on the next one. Have a great weekend. Right, that's the end of those. We've got 113 people watching. I really appreciate everything. It says I've got 11 thumbs up here. I'll give myself one, but I'm sure there's more than that. What's going to happen next week? So, ladies and jelly spoons... That's a good question. What is going to happen next week? Is it going to be... Um, well, Monday, I'm going to try and con my brother into going live and in interviewing him so that he can tell you stories about me when I was a little kid. I'm going to have to do this. Let's do this way. So I'm going to con him into doing that. So I'm conning him into buying me dinner. Uh, or he might even come to our balcony for that one. Then Wednesday's balcony banter and I'm going to try and get my son-in-law to talk about his farm in Ghana, Wura Farms. So that means I will be going live on Wednesday with, uh, with our son-in-law and daughter and granddaughter of course. Friday the whole family is going to be there and it'll be the day after Stephanie's birthday so I don't know what's work going on. Uh, it might just be me and then I meet them later. We don't know yet, but uh, or I might have to cancel that due to uh, what's the word. Uh, but the following Monday, I'm going to interview my sister if she wants it. So she'll still be here on the island because she comes in on Wednesday, Wednesday to Wednesday. So on Mon the following Monday, I might introduce my sister, and then the Wednesday after that, everybody's gone. So it's just uh, balcony banter as normal. That will be the. Oh no, that'll be the first. Uh, balcony banter in October so that will be on Yuliani's channel so, so next week's balcony banter is on my channel and the week after is the first of the month first Wednesday of the month so it will be on Yuliani's channel and the one after that Yuliani may be absent because it's her mum's birthday but we're going to work something out I think she might come in for 10 minutes on the phone wherever they are celebrating there or I might cook a birthday tea for Yuliani's mum who knows one of the two Okay, so now the guys stopped talking, the music in the Irish bar has gone up, so that's good. Uh, how are you sure? Are you still doing cooking films? I'm head chef and bottle washer in the past three weeks with one hand. Marianne can't do... Oh dear, oh dear, Harry. Uh, I'm not... What I'm going to do is I'm going to... The 1st of October was going to be my beginning, but I've actually started it now. So tonight's dinner, I've actually filmed me buying the ingredients showing you the price and then i'm gonna cook but i'm not actually i don't want to film the cooking mainly because i'd have to clear away all this stuff in the the kitchen is really small with me and so i'll leave stuff hanging around i know i shouldn't but i do and so um but i'll show the us eating it It'll, it won't be live but it will be a, a little vlog maybe five to ten minutes and then I will show those uh, on either a Monday or a Friday when I'm out and about. Because uh, I'm also going to do the out and about interviews offline and show those Mondays and Fridays. I don't have one today because I didn't go out this week. Or oh, I didn't have time to interview people this week. I don't have time to do anything any, anymore. I'm busy going out shopping for Christina and I've got to get stuff for the girls coming to next week. And oh God. Never ending, never ending. I met Orcus Whaling uh, yesterday, and if, Orcus, if you're watching, I had a great time. He brought his drone for me to look at because I'm thinking of getting a drone. 
and he's sold me on it now. So also uh, when I buy that in October, when Stephanie gives me uh, my money back <laughs> that I invested, um, I should be getting a drone, I think, and it's the latest one, which has got all the obstacle avoidance and the auto tracking. So I can just send it up in the air, draw a little box around me, and then walk to Playa Paraiso along the cliffs and it'll follow me. So that should be pretty good. So we'll, uh, we'll go ahead and do that. The sun's coming right down now and everything's getting really warm. So I might have to finish early to tell you the truth. Ali, are you still doing the cooking? Yep. Oh, Ali is doing the cooking things. Okay, it wasn't me. That would be amazing to see Tim. Okay, cool. We stayed at Paul Scarth. It was beautifully clean. Hope you're spoiling it. Bye, Tim, everyone. Got guests turning up. Okay, see you. Ali, thanks for joining in. Paula says, bye, Ali. Everybody's saying, bye, Ali. Can't wait to watch the vlog. Sounds interesting. You know, it's, uh, as I say, they're going to be like five to ten minute segments of just where I bought the stuff, how much it costs, and what, and, well, not how, I, well, the recipe will be in the vlog, um, but I'm not, I'm not going to show myself cooking. I don't, I, don't, I don't have a kitchen for that. Maybe next year, when I'm, I'm going to remodel the kitchen next October, so it's going to be a better kitchen. It's going to have a little island at the front and a place for the camera so I can actually do it to camera. At the moment, it's also it's like a little narrow French kitchen and I do everything at the side. And the worktop, I usually do all the preparation outside anyway. So I might do that actually. I might just film the outside preparation, but not tonight. Because there is none. Just take the fresh tagliatelle out of the bag and shove it in boiling water. Okay. Maybe do a separate video, Tim. You know, I was thinking of doing that, but I don't think a 10 minute video would work. It might, it might. We can see anyway. We'll see. I think once I get the, I'm gonna bring the, the 360 count. I did a drive around today as well. So I'm gonna publish that tonight when I get home. I've uh, edited it and put a little music on it and I've left it as 360. So you, when you look at it on your phone, you'll be able to look around like this. And then I shall re-edit it so that there's a nice 1080p version with the music and there's a commentary as well. So watch out for that tonight. I'll publish that when I get home. What else? You love your toys as you do. I do, actually. I do. I've got nothing against toys. Mmm, that's the end of that. So, uh, as for walks next week. Next week, I will try and go for a walk with my brother on Monday morning. So we'll probably start at um, the Adeki Clan Hotel. It's a GF hotel on Fanny Bay. If it's not raining. If it's raining, I'll probably skip the walk on Monday. Uh, Tuesday, I might go walking again, maybe with Mark if he still wants to go again, uh, or anybody else that's on the island. And uh, if you do, if you are interested, please contact me through email. Don't leave a message here because I'll lose those. Send me an email. Go to my website, timothydowd.com, and leave me a message. Or you can actually email me direct at me, M-E, at timothydowd.com. And I'll always reply to emails. You've got to put your real name in and the name that you use chatting here, so I can know both. And if you can, if you can send a picture, that would even get, so I know what you look like. <laughs> Harry, all you need to do is to get an au pair, Swedish au pair, there you go. Just go to the job centre, pick one or two up, they'll sort you, they'll, they'll sort everything out for you. <laughs> right, we've been on 45 minutes now, so I'm actually going to close it down. I'm uh, going to get back, see Christina, see if the workmen have been. 
I don't think they did. I mean, she, she could let them in, but uh, I haven't been pinged. So I reckon they're up in the Monte Cristo having a pint, to tell you the truth. So I might walk up there on the way home and say hello and see if I can get them to come in tomorrow. They only got to put two screws in the wall because I bought the frame and everything for the TV. It just clips on. But we shall see. I'll film it and let you guys know. There you go. So I'm going to thank each and every one of you for joining me today on Living with MS in Tenerife at the Little Germany. Don't forget if you come, tell Kirsten that you Tim sent you and she'll give you a, a free little schnapps and I'll pay for it. How's that? I'll tell her now. And next door the Romantica does good fish. Next door the Irish bar. And then beyond that, there are two bars that have closed down, but they're being knocked into one, and that is going to be a fine dining experience. So along this road, you're going to have loads of restaurants to choose from. You've got the hotel over the road. You have the Pearly Grey in the corner. That's two hotels. And you've got the, um, all these restaurants on, the, on this street. And going up the street, we've got a new Italian place called La Parma with P-A-R-M-A couple of cafes, two French bakeries, um, and, a f and a chemist. Then we got a, an island with three restaurants in it, Nebula, Rincon Corioio, and upstairs the Terrasa El Habli. The bus comes through every half an hour, goes from Los Gigantes to Los Cristianos and back, passes through here. And then up the, we got the Mind Hotel, behind that we've got the Terrasa Sueno Azul restaurant. Opposite the Mind Hotel, you've got the Tropical Park, and above that, you've got the Blue Sea Cayao Garden. So it's a great little resort. Uh, the beach at the moment is not perfect, and there's no cafe or toilets, but there is showers, and you can have a good swim. It's, it's quite protected, and there is uh, soccerists, so uh, lifeguards. So come to Kaiosavaki, say hello, and uh, we'll see you on the next one. So Google thinks you might like this one next, so let me just see what you're saying. Right, people are saying goodnight. Okay, have a great weekend. Thank you very much. No big questions. So Google thinks you might like this one next. And if you want to support the channel, you can go right here on the... Um, what's it called? Wedding photograph and support the channel like that. Thank you, Graham. And you can subscribe for free right here. And I'll put the merch in the corner up there. If you want to take my life in my hands t-shirt or a zoom t-shirt. It's Tim Down for Limit MS and Tenry signing off. See ya. Wouldn't want to be ya. Zzz.